Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We're just 15 minutes south of Edmonton and I am super excited to be able to shoot this quick tour video on a brand new arrival to our dealership. This is the Grand Design RV Reflection 150 series. Brand new floor plan to the market for them at the 260 RD. This is a non-bunk model. It's a couples unit and I am just so excited uh, with all of the things that Grand Design has done with this layout. This is the first time that I've seen it this, with this arrival at our dealership and uh, I'm just so, so excited with the feature content that they've done at the length and the weight and yes this is half ton towable folks if you have the right half ton check your specs be aware of what your your trucks capabilities are if you're doing your shopping just really be aware so we're gonna jump right into it because this is the quick tour video on the product so grand design on the 150 series since its inception the goal is to be half ton towable and the way they've engineered their product the way they've configured it with the floor plan layouts the bedroom the bathroom all of those things grand design has done just an absolute absolutely phenomenal job with making coming out to the marketplace with a half ton towable fifth wheel the important thing to note they didn't change how they built the product compared to a regular reflection the wall construction is the same the roof construction is the same the flooring all of the things that go in that embody a very well made very structurally sound product that grand design is known for is in this product they're not sacrificing the build structure to get the weight down this still has a full walk-on roof okay so grand design doing all the right things to get the weight down how they're doing that is by pulling some content out in terms of uh, options so instead of having auto leveling which does add a lot of weight they take that off instead of having solid surface countertops they take that out and give you the surf x countertops which is still a nice countertop very the uh, same countertop they use in an imagine and bathrooms on a solid those types of things um, again grand design going the extra mile the, the foundation the structure you still get in this trailer uh, one of the things you'll find with half ton toll uh, half ton trucks folks is that they don't necessarily have great big long boxes on them and one of the things that grand design has done to really help uh, come to the marketplace with something that is truly half ton towable is the kingpin or the fifth wheel hitch or the hitch point that they use on the fronts of their trailers so a lot of the uh, trucks out there again like I said has that five and a half foot box which if you have a fixed kingpin you have to go to a power glide hitch which are very very expensive and how those hitches work is as you're going down the highway or you're making your turns that literally the fifth wheel hitch cradles back to give you turning radius okay if you don't have turning radius what can happen is this edge of your fifth wheel either side when you jackknife the trailer can hit the cab of your truck okay so you want to create turning radius and how grand design has done that is by using the turning point hitch the way this is designed is that you can fixate or lock in the kingpin here where it hooks up to the truck and you can shift the turning point or the pivot point 22 inches back so it pivots further back here okay and by doing so you can save a ton of money on a fifth wheel hitch going to more of a standard style slider hitch or just a fixed hitch um, but it also helps create that 90 degree turning radius with this kingpin. So um, if you got the right truck, five and a half foot box, you can get it done with a fifth wheel, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing with this, uh, with the 150 series folks, all of the hitch weights are under 1400 pounds. Okay, very important. If you have a payload capacity, I would say minimum 1,800 pounds or more, this fifth wheel will work exceptionally well for you, which is, which is great. Payload capacity on trucks is very, very important. When you're looking at a truck, depending on what you're looking at, make sure you go to the door pillar of your truck. They typically put a badge there that says the pay, max payload capacity or weight you can put in payload in the truck. Just make sure you verify that because you want to make sure you have the right, right capacities. Not all half tons will be able to pull a half ton towable fifth wheel. So just buyer beware on that, okay? 150 series, again, fully front cap. It's a structure cap that Grand Design uses, fully painted. They give you that, uh, that 3M graphic that has that higher UV protection on it. Uh, it's gonna stand the test of time a whole lot better than some of the cheaper graphics out in the industry. And it comes with a five-year warranty, which is absolutely fantastic, okay? You have the LED docking light here as well. 
right up front here you have the uh, storage up underneath between the legs which is great run a series of batteries there again this is trailer still has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly r30 insulation uh, values as well and fully enclosed heated all your gate valves are all up inside the heated area here you still get the nautilus p1 system to be able to utilize the the, the water inside the trailer you've got siphon to tank via pump if you're getting low on water you can backfill your fresh water tank this bypasses your hot water heater there's no more pulling false panels off and getting on your hands and knees and turning valves in the back of your hot water heater it's all done through here dry camping city water connection you do get the quick connect and hot and cold tap for your outside shower water pump switch which is fantastic uh, all color coded you got the black tank flush city water connection and then your gate valves all up inside this protected and heated area which is amazing also grand design uh, true to form for their pass-through storage compartments totally unobstructed pass-through storage you don't see any plumbing running down off the middle of your you know through the middle of your compartment off the bottom of your toilet all aluminum tubing all double-sided bead welded together your it's a heated compartment as well which is absolutely fantastic they don't use any carpeting on the of the floor of their compartment grand design uses a vinyl decking which is really nice so much easier to keep clean to wipe it down uh, some of the carpeted compartments in the industry folks they hold that you know if you get them wet they hold that moldy mildewy smell those types of things manufacturers like using it because it hides all the cracks and crevices and those types of things in the RVs Grand Design products are built square they're very well engineered and uh, you know they don't have that they don't because they're well made you don't have to hide the cracks and crevices and those types of things in the past few storage compartments uh, you get the AB, ABS um, uh, tray here as well you get that on both sides of the storage compartment so if you spill something in here it can you know you can self-drain it all those sorts of things and clean it up that type of stuff so uh, really really good 30 pound propane tanks on this as well dual 30 pounds we're just going to shoot in on the weight badge on this trailer as well so 7,326 pounds dry fantastic gvwr rating is 9495 pounds giving you an unbelievable cargo carrying capacity of 2109 pounds which is unbelievable for a trailer this trailer is only 29 feet 9 inches in length folks 29.9 unbelievable it's only like a little over a foot and a half longer than what you would typically get in a or what you get in a 230 rl reflection uh, which is really really nice so that under that 30 foot uh, threshold and you'll be blown away with the feature content inside that they've done with this layout so a um, couple things one hitch weight on this trailer is 1325 pounds so again, payload, looking at those types of things, half ton towable with the right half ton truck. So Grand Design, first manufacturer to come out with a three year structural warranty. How'd they do that? One, they built the product to support their warranty. Okay, we've seen some of the manufacturers come out recently, folks that uh, have a three-year warranty. The difference in a lot of cases is they didn't change necessarily how they built their product. All they did was they raised the price of their trailers to accommodate the influx of warranty claims, okay? Grand Design on the reverse. They wanted to come to the marketplace with a product that would stand the test of time. And how they did that was one, every vertical wall panel is fully laminated. The rear wall, fully laminated. The side walls, fully laminated. The slide end walls, fully laminated. Like this is solid. Okay, Every, everything that's uh, laminated in a Grand Design trailer is built in a separate factory. It's built in their lamination facility, okay? So it's built to exact specifications, every panel for the floor plan that they're built for, okay? Um, humidity regulated, temperature controlled to exact, you know, to, to ensure that the quality of the product is the absolute best when they build it. They, lam they do a lamination test on every single wall panel to ensure that they have, have proper bonding. And how they do that is where the window openings are, they actually laminate. So there's a panel there that they router out and that's what they do the test on, okay? And if it fails, if it doesn't meet their, their controls, they scrap that wall panel and they start over. Okay, so they're ensuring that you're getting a far superior built product. Also, structure, every single window frame in a Grand Design RV is framed in with aluminum on the fiberglass trailers. If it's a, a, a wood frame trailer, like in the Transcends, those types of things is framed in with, with a wood frame. But uh, clampering window, you want something solid for that window to bite down onto, because it's a clampering window. It doesn't actually screw into the wall, okay? It screws from the inner pane into the outer pane and it clamps down. If you don't have a frame there, which we're literally doing a, a rear wall replacement on a competitive product, that doesn't have wood doweling in their aluminum tubing and they don't frame in around their window openings. I will not 
name names. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures uh, and feel free. If you want me to send them to you, I gladly do it. Just share your email. I'll gladly do that. So, uh, but again, Grand Design going the extra step. The roof of their slide out, okay, right here, is you can stand on a Grand Design roof. That roof panel is fully laminated, insulated, uh, aluminum framed, just like their sidewalls are. You can stand on the tops of Grand Design slide outs, folks. Grand Design, they give you ladders on the backs of their RVs so that you can access the roof to be able to sweep off the, uh, the tops of the slide out before you bring it in, to be able to change a roof vent, to be able to do some sealant touch-ups, all of those things. You have a lot more flexibility with this product than you do some others out in the industry. And I mean, look at the size of that window just from a structure perspective. They're not afraid to spend the money on great big windows uh, because, and one, because the structure's in the sidewall so they can put in a big window which is really really good uh, for 2019 you do get that two inch rear boat hitch uh, it's a 3,000 pound hitch with a 300 pound hitch rating and the flat four wiring so you can pull a flat deck with a quad if your state or provincial towing laws allow it uh, if you want to pull a, a boat, quad, that type of thing, or just use it as a bike rack uh, to slide a bike rack in there, you can do that with this trailer, which is nice. You do get the pre-wire for the rear vision camera at the back as well. If you're looking at one of those things, just I would recommend the observation system from Furion, uh, which works really, really good. It's nice because you can uh, watch the camera, uh, the monitor as you're traveling down the highway for changing lanes and if you're pulling something behind, that type of stuff. So 20 foot power awning. This is the A&E awning, folks. So you can adjust the tilt to the roller tube just by pulling down on the arms and tightening the black knob. You can divert what way you want the water to run off the fabric if it's drizzling rain a little bit and you still want to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, or if the sun is coming down and you just want to create a little bit more shade, you can drop both arms at the same time. Works really, really good. With the A&E power awning with the uh, reflection, you do get that nice LED light strip. That is your patio uh, light on the entrance side. The cool thing is that when the the awning is fully retracted the light is still usable uh, your exterior speakers on this product folks are mounted to the outside of the wall with a small hole for a wire uh, mounted in so uh, the nice thing is is that speaker isn't countersunk into the wall like some products so benefit to that is you got a small hole for a wire versus a great big hole for an entire speaker the other thing is is that when that um, um, if you countersink a speaker into the wall, it, it, when it's running uh, and playing music, it can actually make the trailer noisier inside. And what's nice about this system is you can isolate the speakers. So if let's say somebody's going to bed having a nap, but you still want to play a little bit of music outside around the campfire, um, by having the speaker not countersunk into the wall, it's going to be quieter inside, uh, which is really, really nice. So uh, Grand Design on this product, they do on all their reflections, they give you the lend a hand grab handle, wider entrance doors, folks. Take a tape measure when you go out shopping, measure the width of the entrance doors, the heights of the entrance doors. Why a wider entrance door is nice, depending on how you load the RV to go camping. I know my wife, she likes wider doors because it helps her. She's not busting her knuckles going in and out of the trailer uh, on the door frame, which is really, really nice. You do get the aluminum triple entry step. Dexter towing system on this as well. So five year axe, five-year warranty axle all north american made you get the never adjust brakes easy lube hubs very very good towing system very stable and uh, easy to get parts all of those things your appliances you get the six gallon hot water heater gas electric with both both gas and electric on at the same time you get 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour and a 35,000 BTU furnace. Unbelievable size furnace for this size of trailer. As well, there's your pass-through storage compartment with battery disconnect switch as well. And then you get the uh, battery or uh, propane quick connect here as well. So for your barbecue or your you know portable fire pit, that type of thing. Uh, we're gonna jump inside here, folks. We're gonna go a little bit, a little bit quicker. Again, eight foot wide trailer, the dinette spans the entire back of the trailer. This di uh, dinette is gigantic. If you're like six foot six, I mean, seven foot tall, you can lay down on this bed and have a nap if you want to fold it down into a bed. If you want to seat four people, five people around it, put a couple people on the end, makes it really, really nice. It's a gigantic dinette, which is really cool. Again, great big windows all the way around, storage above, which is awesome. They do give you the gigantic theater seating in this, which is directly across from your entertainment center. Your theater seating is Thomas Paine collection. You get the heat, massage, the blue light, fully reclines. Look at the size of the window back here. Grand Design, not afraid to spend the money. They give you the light. This flips up as well. So if you want to sit three people here comfortably, you can definitely do that, which is great. The thing I love about this layout, folks, is when the slide out's fully retracted, you can access your entire kitchen and you can access your refrigerator and your pantry. The only thing you can't access when the slide is fully retracted is your bathroom. 
They do that to get the length down. They have to do it that way. So if you need to access your bathroom on route to your campsite, you just got to bump your slide out a little bit to be able to access that. But again, tons and tons of counter space, true to form for grand design, pivot television, LED television above, windows all the way around, great big Furion range with the glass top and blue lighting. You get the farm style sink, Surfex countertops, oh, that's an under counter mount sink by the way, so if you spill something on your countertop, you can easily wipe it into your into your sink, which is nice. True to grand design form, again, lower cabinets, they do give you the shelf inside, add better value for you. And the 12 cubic foot gas electric uh, refrigerator. This is unbelievable for a 150 series. This is the only 150 series you get the great big fridge in and freezer folks. So if you wanna go across Canada, those great big long trips, and you wanna pack a lot of food with you, you can do it. And you get the nice pantry beside dual pantry. So unbelievable from that perspective, flip up counter extension, uh, no carpet steps, which is nice where you step, of course. Your bathroom coming up here, you've got really nice storage in your bathroom, vanity above, shelves inside, stainless steel sink, tons of counter space, triple drawers here all the way around you got the easy transition point to get into your shower if you know if you're a six foot four six foot five you got tons of headroom in there especially with that skylight storage above with towel bar just all sorts of all sorts of room here porcelain foot flush toilet and pocket door not a swing door so it's much safer to get in and out of your bathroom at night versus having to walk down your stairs to access your bathroom to get in at night front bedroom here folks again no wardrobe slide they do that to get the hitch weight down okay but they haven't reduced your storage and i'll show you that shortly here but again a nightstands on either side of your bed. It's a much more open feeling bedroom, residential inspired, of course, 60 by 80 residential size bed. If you don't like the mattress, you can upgrade, go to any mattress shop and your regular queen size bed will fit the same dimensions and your fitted sheets go around a whole lot better, which is nice. Great big gigantic window here. And then this is where I said you don't give up any storage because you get this unbelievable wardrobe here with motion sensor lighting inside. And these, you get three drawers, great big massive drawers. So again, Clayton Phillips here, Woody's RV World, Leduc, Alberta, Canada, doing a quick tour on a brand new 260 RD Reflection 150 series. And I'd uh, love for you to come by our dealership, check it out. Uh, fresh capacity, 52, gray, 71, black, 39 gallons, sorry, I missed that. And uh, I don't know if I said 20 foot power awning, I think I did, but uh, again, quick tour video, check out our detailed video, uh, goes a little deeper, I talk a little more in it and uh, go a little more into the product. So again, come down to our dealership, love to come alongside you in your RV shopping experience and uh, like, subscribe, appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. Happy camping, take care.